your bad days are a very personal thing. So to a greater or lesser degree, um, and you will have have them. Um, so for me, one of the things that I struggled with was my AF not enabling me to cook a nice dinner for my family, to look after my family, my husband and my children so that they had healthy meals. I now do batches of food. So I make soups or I make um, meals that are put away in the freezer so that when I do have bad days, either I am in hospital or I'm not well, I know that I have done everything I can to look after my family. So it actually helps me mentally too and emotionally to know that I am still, even though I'm not there, I'm still looking after my family. Um, and it gives me something um, proactive to do as well and positive um, and constructive. Um, you're putting your energy into something that is good. It's baking biscuits and, and having a tin of biscuits there so that the kids can have treats or um, making big lots of lasagnas and, and or soups or, you know, a big batch of mints and you just make it into portions so that you can add that to pasta or, or whatever, you know, make a cottage pie or whatever. Um, so that's how I take care of that. Um, in terms of like house cleaning and things like that, I break it up into um, sections because I can't just go through and, and, you know, a lot of people do their house cleaning on a weekend or, or, or an afternoon. Um, I can't really do that, so I break it down so that I know that I have done what I've wanted to do, um, but the house is clean and, and, and things like that because there have been times when I haven't been able to do the cleaning and we have had to employ a cleaner. Um, because I haven't even been able to walk up the stairs, let alone push a vacuum cleaner around. It's whatever works for you, and it's what's important to you. Being a wife and a mum are massively important things for me, because they've come to me later in life. They're things that I never thought that I would be able to experience, so they're something that I want to give my whole heart to. Um, coming from being a pretty full-on professional career woman, um, who was a workaholic, um, it's a joy to be able to have my family and, and, and my kids and my husband, um, and not being able to fully enjoy those, um, either by being present um, emotionally and mentally and physically sometimes when I've had to go away, um, being able to prepare by doing meals or, um, you know, um, putting craft things together, so kits for the kids, so that if I haven't been feeling well, that we've got things that the kids can do that are constructive and they're not just placed in front of the television. Um, those sorts of things. Um, planning days with friends so that we have the social interaction as well, because sometimes you do tend to shut yourself away because you're scared to go out in case you do have an attack and you don't want to be a bother to people you don't want to cause a drama um, so stress around your children or stress to members of your family or friends so you know the good days you get out there and you breathe in the fresh air and you go for a walk or you you know you do cool things um, and that could be just going for a bike ride around the block or going to the park. It doesn't have to involve, you know, a big full-on experience. Um, but it's enjoying those days so that when there are days that I cannot take the kids out, they, they understand that, you know, um, Sam and I call them our mummy and me days. And um, mummy and me days are just something that sometimes mummy and Sam can't really leave the house so we'll do baking. Um, he woke up not so long ago and said mummy can we make chicken soup today? <laughs> you know not bad from a four-year-old but those are sometimes the things that we do and we make it fun.